me again. Come on, stick something in there. Come on. Stick something big in there. Just give me time. Oh my god. All the best. Drink. Drink. Have a big bite. Have a big bite, Tim. Have a big bite. Is that the biggest bite? Mm -hmm. You can do a bigger bite than that. Have a bigger bite. Come on, just like your dad. Come on. A big bite. Go on, Timmy. Have a big bite. What's the meat of it's going to show us. I wonder what channel we are. Hey, what channel are we on? Are we on news? Hello. Have a bite. Have a bite. Mmm. Mm. I can see you all in a very happy state. A dream that we have all dreamt of for a very long time has come true today. Finally, we have opened the Greek Church, St. John the Baptist, at Patmans Bay. I first came to Patmans Bay 14 years ago. My father-in-law had a dream, as did a lot of the other Greeks that live here and have homes here and visit here. The dream was that one day a great church will be built here in the far south coast in New South Wales. It has happened and I think we should all be proud that this has occurred in 2001. We're very honoured today to have His Eminence, Mr. Stelianos, the Archbishop, the Greek Orthodox Archbishop of Australia and Oceania, here to open the church with us. Also, I'd like to thank the Mayor of the Yerubadala, Mr and Mrs Varden, for being here for the opening of the church on this great occasion. Also, also I'd like to thank the clergy from Canberra, and Queen Anne for being here, for the assistance today. Next, I would like to introduce the President of the Batemans Bay Greek Community to have a few words. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry that I have to speak in my native language. So if some of you don't understand me, that's the matter. Καλημέρα σας. Σε παρασμιότατε λυπηρείς κυρίες και κύριοι. Η σημερινή ημέρα για το Πάτμας Βάι είναι ένα όνειρο που σήμερα γίνεται πραγματικότητα. Πάνω πολλά χρόνια που ζητούσαμε που ζητούσε η ελληνική κοινότητα να αποκτήσει κάτι δικό της και γιατί όχι και μια εκκλησία. Και σήμερα βλέπουμε να αναψώνεται περίφερνα αυτή 
Jó reggelt, Kisia! Prin tezera vronia, a vorașa ma tot eu copilor, mi-a accedit ghii. Că de mulțime și a mea, mi-a picăie de ghii vronia. το καφενείο μας, το τζάκι της γιαγιάς εκεί, εδώ με το φούρνο του, τις ελιές μας <laughs> και, όλα, και όλα που μας θυμίζουν από κάτι πραγματικό ελληνικό χώρο. Θέλω να ευχαριστήσω πάρα πολλούς και πρώτα θέλω να ευχαριστήσω τον Ζωσιμασμιότατο που με μεγάλη μας χαρά και τιμή μας να τον έχουμε σήμερα κοντά μας. Κατόπι θέλω να ευχαριστήσω το Συμβούλιο μου που δυστυχώς δεν μπορώ να τους ονομάσω γιατί είναι πολλοί αλλά πρέπει να πω κάτι για τους νέους μας να πούμε τους αυτολογεννημένους που ετοιμασία όλα αυτά τα βαϊτά τα ετοιμάσαν αυτοί και αυτοί που γνωρίζουμε θα είναι το φιούτσα όταν εμεί θα φύγουμε αυτοί θα μείνουν και αυτό με κάνει εξαιρετικά χαρούμενο Ιδιαίτερα θέλω να πω για την κυρία Νίκη Γιαννάρος και τις αδερφές της που δουλέψαν όλη νύχτα last night. Σας ευχαριστούμε πολύ κοπέδα του. Και τώρα έρχομαι να πω δυο λόγια για τις κτήτορες της Εκκλησίας. Είμαι βέβαιος ότι όλοι γνωρίζετε ότι την Εκκλησία μας την έφτιαξε η οικογένεια Λιάννη. Πάμε τώρα περίπου τρία χρόνια που το γνώρισα την εξαιρετική αυτή οικογένεια μέσω του γαμπρού μου Στέρχα Μπέσης. Και συζητώντας με εσωτερία Αλιάνη με βεβαίωσε ότι θα χτίσει την εκκλησία εξ ολοκλήρου. Συγκινημένος τη φίλησα και χαρά μου είναι μεγάλη. <κλήσει> Πρώτα να γίνησα και είπα το νέο στο Συμβούλιο μην εκεί δεν το πίστεψα. Όπως βλέπετε σήμερα η Εκκλησία αυτή τη στιγμή μέσα και έξω μετά, σήμα, με, και με τα ιερά της σκεύη είναι, είναι όλα πληρωμένα από την οικογένεια Λιάκη. <σομίως> από μέρος μου προσωπικά <σομίως> και από όλους τους κατοίκους του Πάτμας Βά και όλους τους πιστούς που αυτή τη στιγμή είναι εδώ. <σομίως> Βαγγέλη Σωτηρία. <σομίως> Σα ευχαριστώ με ένα μεγάλο ευχαριστώ. Θέλω να σα δώσω κάτι Θέλω να δώσω τώρα κάτι, ένα μυστικό, αυτό το μυστρί που χρησιμοποιήσαμε για το θεμέλιο λίθο. Το καλλιτεχνήσαμε και σα το, το χαρίσαμε τώρα. Δώστε εσεί και ώρα. Αυτό είναι για σας σωτηρία. Είναι μια μικρή τιμή για τη μεγάλη τιμή που μας έχουμε. Κυρίες και κύριοι, σας ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Να είστε καλά και θέλω να σας έχουμε πάντα μαζί μας. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ. Thank you, sir. On purpose, on purpose, I said nothing about the Liangas family to start with. I had my reasons because I wanted my father-in-law and the president of the group community to say the words first. Now, I would like to say this. Now it's time for me, as one of the workers here, and one of the local people in Bavens Bay, to convey just how much I appreciated the effort and the friendship 
that the Liangas family offered us during the building of this church. And as far as I'm concerned, you are part of my family because you're very close to my heart now. I would now like to invite John Lee Angus to come up and have a few words. Your Eminence Archbishop Stellanos, Reverend Fathers, the local member for the South Coast, Russell Smith, the Mayor of Yurubadala, Chris Varden, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that the Liangas family bequeath the Church of St. John the Baptist to the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese and the community of Batemans Bay. The Church now completed and having the blessing of the Archdiocese will serve the Greek Orthodox community of Batemans Bay and Greek Orthodox visitors to Batemans Bay for many years to come. There is a wonderful community here in Batemans Bay that is close and very community minded. The Liangas family hopes that St. John's will be a focal point for the community and a catalyst that will strengthen and further the community's spirit and horizons. The Liangas family is very proud of its bequest and we hope that the community here in Batemans Bay will take pride in their church, the Church of St. John the Baptist, Batemans Bay. We also hope that this church will strengthen the long-standing ties between the Greek community of Canberra and the community of Batemans Bay, and that its presence will initiate, foster and strengthen ties with, our two, uh, with other communities. It has been a great honour for the Langus family to be able to make a reality the dream of the Greek community of Batemans Bay, the dream of a church a church in which the community can worship and be a symbol of its identity. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the Committee of Batemans Bay under Sid Pascalidis for their assistance and relentless efforts, as well as Steve Edwards for his invaluable assistance in this project. Thank you. I had the pleasure to present His Eminence the Archbishop with the keys to the new church and also enclosed in an, in an envelope the certificate of occupancy, a full valuation, insurance for six months, the building certificate and other relevant documentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. As an Australian born um, Greek, I'm very proud today to see what is going on here. The culture is living on in another country. Another country that we, Australian born, feel that is our country, but with the culture of Greece, I'm very proud. Seeing you all here today, seeing us united, seeing the people that have helped in the creation of this wonderful place, it reminds me of something I heard a long time ago. Something said by somebody 350 BC. Alexander the Great said, Upon the efforts of each depends the fate of all. We're talking about unity here. We're talking about being together and creating something. And that is what we have done today. I would now like to invite our honoured guest, Mr Chris Varden, the Mayor of the Yerubadala, 
to have a few words. Thank you, Paul. Um, Your Eminence, uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I, on behalf of the whole community of the Unibadana, say how delighted we are that this wonderful dream has finally come true. Sid and I have talked about this dream for a number of years, and I'd hate to see him be unhappy uh, about this, and of course he's not unhappy. You can see that he was crying with joy that uh, his dream has finally come true. Your Eminence, one of the things that uh, I'm sure that you said, I'd have to say that the whole service was Greek to me, and I didn't understand any of it. But uh, I did pick up a few bits, and I'm sure that during it you were speaking about St John the Baptist. And it's only very unusual these days that the church is actually called St. John the Baptist, and I think that's very significant and wonderful that the church is called St. John the Baptist. And I think one of the things that you were also saying was that we are all Australians, no matter where we come from, and here in Bateman's Bay, we are absolutely privileged to have a wonderful group of, of our community whose origins come from Greece. And they are just wonderful citizens of Australia and wonderful citizens of Bakeman's Bay. And we're <laughs> and the rest of the community is just very proud of it. Of course, we're very proud of the, the Angus family as well, who've done so much to ensure that this dream came true. May this church be used for God's purposes, and may our community be blessed forever. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Barton. Thank you very much. May I say that in this Europe of community, this bastion of Greek culture, Mr. Barton said it's all Greek to me, but I may say, Another, may I say, another saying, it goes back a long way, to a Greek philosopher. <laughs> when you're amongst Greeks, you are amongst friends. <laughs> In closing, I'd like to thank everybody, one and all, for this successful day and I will I will enjoy to see you all celebrating for the rest of the day. Our friends behind us that have been toiling very hard today, cooking the food and there's more food there. Eat more, be merry and enjoy. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, in a little while we will be drawing uh, the raffle ticket prize. There'll be some uh, lovely young ladies getting around, selling some more raffle tickets to people that. Uh... Hey, uh, we want now. Can you just get back to the Oh, that's cheap. Me too. Hey. Come on, No, you say no. That's not cheap. No, that's oh, not cheap. That's cheap. Not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Lucia, you speaking up? Lucia, you're a picture. No, Lucia. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Speaking up, Lucia. Who's beautiful? Me. Hello. Hello. Well, I'm just going to start uh, spewing. Lenny, you're off. Yeah, but goodly. Get a quiet for a change. <laughs>
Oh, thank you. I'm always <laughs> nervous with speeches. So I always Very bungle well them up mostly. Very well said. It's always it's inadequate because everything changes. I don't know what, when or where or how, so I have to change the beginning and end. And uh, your father was very proud of you. Was he? Yeah. Oh, that's the main thing. <laughs> thank you. Uh, look, thank you for coming. Okay. And it's a beautiful church, Len. You've done well. Len's the architect, by the way. Yeah, yeah just get a record of that. I'll get a record. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> He's had a, a quick uh, course in the Greek architecture, yes. though. <laughs> I can now do them anytime. Byzantine. <laughs> See you later. All right. Bye. Cheers, Len. Okay. Well, I was just thinking uh, to myself, today we've heard a lot of stuff about Greek communities. And being from Canberra and now in Batemans Bay, it's, it's quite nice in a country like Australia to be travelling around and... Um, visiting places and finding other people with a common heritage that you have. And um, that that's, seems to be the case with my family in Batemans Bay here. Uh, we've met a few families here that we've just become very close with. And, um, and that community yearning you have, I mean, we're separated not only from the homeland, but from the distance within this own land. And um, you come to a community where you, you see or a reflection of what the, the community you come from was at, say, several years back, before a church was established, before a kinotita was established. That's a community. and. Um, and you, you get this sort of nostalgic connection with them. And uh, I think my family, <coughs> well, offered to build this church, and uh, as you see, it, it has been built, uh, in a way to, to further that dream that this community had. And it's something that our family could just contribute, uh, a small thing, in, you know, uh, by all means, it's not a small thing, but something that um, I think we'd understand the total significance of. And in a way, knowing that significance is what really encouraged us to, to or inspired us to, 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 do, to offer this as our gift to the community here and just strengthen our ties and uh, a lot has been said today and uh, I think a lot of like Paul's speeches had hit a few nails on the head and it's good to see and uh, it's a sort of a brotherhood of Greek culture throughout this throughout Australia and um, and not uh, as I said uh, well I haven't said but uh, not uh, denying that we're all Australian, and Australian first and foremost, but uh, we have our origins, our uh, cultural origins that we're maintaining and uh, keeping alive for our uh, youth and our future. That's about all I can really say. Now. Did uh, your mother um, surprise you when, when she put up the suggestion to the board of directors? Uh, it was, a, it was a bit of a shock, I thought, we just finished the old people's home in, 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 in Canberra, which was a thing our family built uh, to establish in Canberra, and it's a facility that now is quite well utilised. At the time, uh, most people thought, well, we didn't have that sort of aged population, but it's, it's, uh, it's astonishing to see how quickly <laughs> a population can age. And uh, in fact, it's been an invaluable contribution there. And uh, but it was a it was a huge uh, project because uh, it was a 21 unit thing. And uh, I mean, we, we basically fit these projects in in between our normal run of the mill everyday work. And uh, you know, you, you can't say that they're not a laborious process, and you know, really get up you after a while. But uh, at the end of the day, they're they're they're, they're very fulfilling. And uh, we'd just finished that project and uh, this came on the cards and I said, ah, oh, look, you know. But what I envisaged was a little chapel sort of thing. I thought it might be, you know, 
couple of meters square, something up in the X or here, here, you know, and uh, I said, oh, okay, we could polish that thing off. And it just, uh, like from, uh, from a few meters here to a couple of hundred meters here, it just, um, it grew and it became, uh, I mean, we didn't do much hands-on over here. Uh, we had left some uh, local talent up here to do the work. But we were, we were finding ourselves coming down every weekend to keep a tab on things. And uh, but it wasn't it wasn't that uh, I, I must say it wasn't uh, as, as huge a job as say uh, uh, the hostel was. And in that way, I hadn't felt it that much. But it was uh, it was a daunting prospect when it was announced. You know, like straight after the straight off the cuff of the other one. Now we've taken uh, almost two years to build this. So we haven't really forced it hard. It's not it's not a structure that would have demanded that sort of time frame. But we've just done it at our own leisure, and uh, it's worked out quite fine. And uh, keying up today, you know, it's 13th of January, just after the Epiphany. Uh, we had Archbishop Stelianos down for the opening, and uh, oh, well, that was the icing on the cake. We thought everybody's still holidaying down here, so any excuse to get up for a, a bit of good weather. So the one question I asked you before, mm. why did you choose your mum and dad? <laughs> why did I? <laughs> oh, because they're good folk, down to earth, salt of the earth, loving and caring, nurturing. <laughs> did a good job of bringing me up, you know. Uh, I don't know, how does one, how does one contemplate a question like that, you know? Well, I guess it's in the lessons you've learned so far. One of the four ones you've learned, you know, the lessons you've meant to learn. Yeah, I've had my uh, ups and downs and, and uh, hard times and good times, and uh, they've been they've always been there, stuck with me and uh, <laughs> put up with me. And uh, I could say I've put up with them <laughs> a heap as well, so it works both ways. But all I can say is I, I don't think I could envisage myself being a, a son of anybody else, really. Where do you think you'll go with? What's that? Well, your future. My future? Yeah, well... Um, just continue on the good work the family has started, and uh, who knows what the future holds. You know? so you want to do My aim is just to be happy and uh, live a good life. <laughs> well, if that's, if that's your aim, how come you chose your mother and your father? Because <laughs> I live happily and, and do have a good life, so. But you pay a price for that. I mean, if you could have chosen another fun loving family that. Have this pressure, pressure, pressure. Let's do this. Come on, come on. Uh, well, it's 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 only sporadic pressure, you know. It's not that much of a pressure. I mean, uh, there are other pressures in life that are a heap more severe than just you know meeting a deadline with a building and that. I mean, there is pressure, but if you want, you can just well stuff it, you know, put it behind you. You know, it, it's not like a life or death situation with a. Well, I've seen families where they they choose one building and then they build that and then they take a break and, mm. and then slowly do another one and then. Another one? Well, you've got to keep. You, you, you've got to keep. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, you, when you get into that um, momentum, is it? Yeah, you've got to keep that momentum up. Otherwise, you, you have a few years of a really solid momentum, and then uh, there could be a couple of years where you're just twiddling your thumbs, you know. And that's actually probably worse <laughs> than actually having somewhere to go in the morning, you know. Like <laughs> so uh, we're looking forward to one of those uh, two or three years of. Uh, rest but um, but the thing is the community and uh, well um, you know Canberra as well and, and Batemans Bay is, uh, is, is, is moving quickly you know you just can't really sit around and let it slip past because a lot of great opportunities out there and you, gotta, you gotta grab them while you can I think but uh, there comes a time when you've grabbed enough and you gotta you know organize your rest grab a bit of rest is that what I'm saying? I think that's coming, so. I know I'm planning about mid next year to take a bit of time off myself personally. Okay, yeah. I think you have enough to this area. Oh, I've just been. Open. Yeah, that's the, that's the beautiful. Uh, yeah. Now, that's like an old butcher's slab, this. Beautiful. But uh, I think that's the actual mystery that was used, and they've. Um, that was the actual one. Yes, it did it have that, or they made that specially for I think for they it? made it all specially somehow. Yes, they did. Oh, they've dressed it. Uh, uh, which means uh, builders, as opposed to autocratores, means the conquerors. Conquerors, yes. Uh, of the Church of St. John the Baptist. Uh, 
Bateman's Bay, Evangelos Soteria John Liangus, 17th of the 10th, 1998, was the Familia Olithos, which was the laying of the foundation stone. So, and actually, Stelia Nos did that as well. So, so there you go. Can we just get it closer to the camera? Closer, closer. Sure. Closer. I'm getting the camera on the shot. Can I turn it on an angle a bit? Yeah, that's it. That's How's that? Looks good. Okay. So, what do you think of your son? He is magnificent. Magnificent. He's magnificent. <laughs> I'm proud to have such a son. I guess it feels like he's with uh, Vagelia. Yeah, <laughs> so that's good. Fantastic couch. Okay. Uh, okay I'll, I'll put them in the. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, I was just going to walk off with that. <laughs> we've got to clean that with a bit of soap and water because we've got all these fingerprints on it. It's been a big day, hasn't it? It's been a big day, hasn't it? Of course it's been a big day. Big day. We spoke earlier at the beginning about how you felt, but now the day's finished. Finished. Beautiful. Yeah, finished yeah, exactly the way we, what you call it, we planned it. And they come a lot of people, all very happy, all dense, all very united. And that's the most important thing for immigrants, Greeks in Australia. Okay, that, Please me very much because I'm a one for them. Yeah, they're on the end all day. Opposite oh, stand on the one, I stand on the other. Yeah. Flaps in the oil, the same. We was for you, I could only call you, estimate my message. Yeah, they sell transport. They never need this petition. Mary Kim, Allah, get over lots, pull in, even get another me, it's like a dollar, especially the value. Για το το καλό σκοπό. Εγώ δεν μαζεύω λεφτά για αυτούς. Σκοπούς εγώ τα έβαλα όλα. Η οικογένειά μου τα έβαλε και χτίσαμε χωρίς να χρωστάει ούτε σέντς. Και παραδώσαμε το παιδί της εξαιρίας χωρίς να χρωστάει τίποτα. Αλλά όπως είπαμε έχουν να κοιτάξουν τα σαραίωνς, να ποτίζουν τα ρεύματα, τους ανθρώπους που θα κοιτάνε να καθαρίζουν την αυσία. Πρέπει να μαζέψουν μερικά λεφτά, να έχουν στο ταμείο. Και γι' αυτό βγάλαν είπαν όποιος θέλει να δώσει χρήματα, αλλά όχι για την εκκλησία. Η εκκλησία ήταν ολοκληρωτικά την οικογένεια. Και τώρα από εδώ και πέρα ό,τι θα μαζέψουν και θα ονομάζουν την εκκλησία στο κόσμο, θα είναι για τα σαρέα. Να κάνουμε πάλι και αυτό με ευχαριστεί. Γιατί εδώ ήταν μπούς, πριν 2-3 χρόνια ήταν μπούς. Τώρα βάλαμε λίτσες, βάλαμε δεντράκια, βάλαμε και τα φκάνει το ελληνικό κομμιούν του Μπέζον Πάι, που και αυτούς πρέπει να τους ευχαριστήσουμε τόσο πολύ, δηλαδή εγώ εκ μέρους μου, σε ευχαριστώ τόσο πολύ που ο Σιδέρης, ο Πασαλίδης, που είναι πρόεδρος του σήμερα, σπέζομαι, ενδιαφέρεται τόσο πολύ και όλο το Συμβουλίο του. Τους βλέπω εδώ γιατί κατά τη διάρκεια που χτίζαμε την Εκκλησία, ερχόμουν εδώ περίπου δύο χρόνια, γιατί όποτε είχαμε ευκαιρία ερχόμασταν εδώ πέρα. 
Αυτή ήταν παρόν και πάντα όλοι το συμβούλιο, το διοικητικό συμβούλιο και ο Πασαρή να φυτεύουν και να καθαρίζουν και ακόμα χόρτα και να φυτεύουν δεντράκια και να κάνουν από εδώ. Τα δεντράκια όλα αυτά εδώ και τα σημαίνεται τα έχουμε κάνει εμεί. Από εκεί και κάτω τα έχουν κάνει όλα μόνοι του. Και αυτά είναι από τα χρήματα που μαζεύουν από εδώ. Και όχι για την εκκλησία. Κατάλαβε. Λοιπόν, αυτά ήταν. like a, the nucleus of a new community. It's just been established. The community existed, but this is where it's coming into, you know, I don't know, coming of age, if you like, huh, of a community. That's it. Where there's spirituality, there's growth. So this is where the spirituality has really, you know, developed and become something real. And this is a physical manifestation of the, the spiritual growth of the community. So. And it's getting no smaller, but much yeah, bigger. Yeah, it'll grow. So you guys local? Um, Canberrans, Queenian. Yeah. So you reckon you're going to be the first two to, uh, to actually become? <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> God's will. Yeah. <laughs> Big question. <laughs> Who knows? God knows. Whoever God sends here, I'm sure he'll look after the people. Special people, special community, special person needed. I'm sure he'll, he'll find the right person to bring here. Of course he'll guide the Archbishop to decide, you know, but... <laughs> So the Archbishop decides. You know, in you know, he liaises. He you know uh, works with the communities, the various parishes, uh, other you know organisations, and he'll he'll give his his uh, blessing to certain priests to come here, and they'll you know discuss it. But he's ultimately the one that decides the priest. Yeah, there's no community that can say no. They'll he'll send the person that he can, the right person. And how many priests has he got? Well, there's an ordination tomorrow <laughs> in Sydney, so... And how many is going to be ordained tomorrow? Just one person. Just one? One, yeah. And how long will it be, if God willing, before you become ordained? That's a difficult question. Every person will be ordained in his own time, you know. And it's also God's calling. People are called. When they say yes and they respond is a different story. So, I mean, honestly, we both have a calling to service in the church. Whether Stavro or myself, you know, which one is ordained first or which capacity we serve in the church is, is something that we can't really speak about right now. We know that we have a calling to the church, but how and when? But we have to get going. Okay, all the best. Take care, thank you. Good luck with your uh, documentary. Yeah. You have seen um, John.
Maria Corrales. What's she like? Lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. What's lovely about her? Oh, it's just her personality and charm. And, you know, she really does it for me, you know? <laughs> She's got personality and charm. Right? Yeah, she's beautiful. Look at her. Elegant. Elegant. Stunning. Stunning. Sexy. I'm saying next to, next to the church. <laughs> yeah, you're next to the church. Next, next to the church, I'm saying it. Mm -hmm. But it's good. God intended, I think. Any of the locals? Yeah, check the locals. The locals? Check them out. I just love the locals, don't you? <laughs> We've been there. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? It's it's the, the shoes. What's going on with that? He's to be as well. Yeah, you are yeah, to be? I'm to be, uh, yeah. Who are you, Mary? Oh, a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hope so. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, a girl from Canberra. Yeah, a Canberra girl. She's Canberra girl. crazy. Oh, man. They aren't, they, mate. I'll, I'll go one from Canberra? Sydney. I'm originally from here. Oh, okay. I'm half Canberra, half here, but originally here. <laughs> that's it, that's my story. You do do it. Where's your father? Hmm? He's out there fishing. Yeah, I've got Frank. Everything. Yeah. Just everything. He's perfect. <laughs> I don't want to give him a big head. He's got a big head. And look now, how it's blown. I wouldn't be surprised if the boats don't go out tomorrow. Yeah. Very few. Oh, X, yeah. Down to earth, thoughtful, the, loving. Out, yeah. Got good communication, yeah, he's great. And fun. What That's are you going to change? Huh? Yeah. What are you going to change? Okay. Uh, his tidiness, a little bit untidy. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's all. And that's easy to change. Yeah, that's about it. And he's got to learn how to wash dishes, I think. Mm. Well, he told me his dad wouldn't let him, but I talked to him. Talk to my so, so there's only two things you want to change. Yeah, that's about it, really. And that, you know, and I can get by if he wants to be untidy, he can be untidy. Yeah. Mike, that's. It's, um, it's only two things. Yeah. Here's your chance now. No, I don't think there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. No. I think that's about it. Do you think he's going to make a good father? Good father? Oh, definitely. I see him with kids. He loves kids. He's really good with kids. Yeah. Definitely. I wouldn't be marrying him otherwise. <laughs> is he a boy's man's man or is he a... It's a bit of both. He knows that he likes it with the boys, but he's good when we're, you know, it's a bit of both. He's a good con conversationalist, I'll say. What's his family like? His family? Um, his family's pretty, very wonderful, you know, loving, caring, um, taking me in with open arms, yeah. I get along with them really well. Yeah, it's really good. They've made it really easy for us. They've been really understanding and, you know, nothing but support. So it's been excellent. Because you're not just marrying me, mate. Marrying a whole family. <laughs> I'm taking their family name on, so. <laughs> and what's the family name? Psoulius. 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 whichever way you want to say it. Psoulius. Don't put <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Manuel, yeah, do you have an orange tree, Manuel? So, where are you going to go? We'll go up here to mine first. Huh? I'm going to mine first. Mine's right. closer. Right. <laughs> you please. <laughs> Manuel, I'll give you insurance. <laughs> Tree number 
33. You know, you look at your olives. It's got heaps on it. Look at your olives. Come on. Do you like olives, man? I love olives. What kind of olives do you like? Okay. Well, uh, my favourite are Kalamata olives. And what are these? These are Kalamata. Are they? Yep, Kalamata olives. You going to come down and pick them up? Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So it's very healthy. It's a very healthy tree. Touch these olives here. Yep. Very healthy. Come on, your little fruits. Now come on. Be more loving. Kiss him, honey. Kiss him. <laughs> They're my fruits. Woo! <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Stop. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> you don't put any of the talking. Oh, the oyster sticks. I think I want the oyster sticks on. We're into recycling. You can tell the... Sea creatures on there? Yeah. That's the... Oh, can, I, can I bend down? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this, this is, is a I'm going to make a dinner out of this tree. <laughs> My olive oil? <laughs> this is where your dinner's coming from. <laughs> Olives every night. Olive spread, huh? <laughs> That's it. On toast. On toast. Yep. What, um, what part of Greece is your family from? I'm from um, down Peloponiso, Tripoli, my dad's from. So we need Kalamata, it's very near there, yes. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Um pretty good. From Florida up north. All the snow country and the I mountains. Need to do it. Oh, no wallets. All the goat <laughs> no, we got goats, mate. Goat people. Goat people. <laughs> I'm sure they got olives out there somewhere as well. They're not like Kalamata olives. Not like the Kalamata ones. No, definitely not. They just stay there. Where's the olives? There we go, beautiful. Compared to the hand. Yeah. Very good. So what's your favourite olive? Kalamata olives? Yeah. Yep. Touch them. These ones? Yeah. <laughs> and so this is where my roots are from. <laughs> <laughs> this is where my roots are from. How far away from Kalamata? Uh I don't know, it's very close. I don't know how far away. Half, hour, Half yeah. an hour, an hour. Yeah, it's pretty close. I've been there. So, it's a beautiful place. Well, you never know one day we might be here when these things arrive. Uh, we'll be picking them. By the looks of it, I think we might be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll pick them. Yep, definitely. You never know, it might be symbolic. Yep. It might mean that you might be pregnant. <laughs> well, no, uh -huh. you might, no. When are you getting married? Um, Oh, within a year or so? A year or so. A year or so, we'll say. To be safe. You decided? He wants sooner. I want sooner. Get out. <laughs> I can't wait. I don't know why. It's strange, but. <laughs> it's strange, eh, I suppose, for a man to say that, but. Nah, I can't. Well, I found the right girl, so. There's no point waiting longer, you know? That's it. Might as well get married as soon as you can and. Yeah, That's we might as well go do it now, you know? We should have done we it now. Do it first thing. That's it, and have the well, barbecue down there at the reception. Yeah. Mine's just over here, short distance. Yeah. On the other side of the hill. Up the hill, like in the hill. Only slightly. Developer. Number 38. Number 38. A little bit small and there are no actual olives on it yet. But um, uh, it's getting there. What does it make you see when you see your olive tree now and it's doing so bad? I'm going to come look after them, I think. I've got to come down more and look after them. Are you going to look after them? Got to water it. Nah, uh, she'll be right. She'll be right. Another year. By well, next year, this will be full of fruit. Trust me. Trust full, you. Full of fruit. Full of olives. So, this time next year, in the time of um, St. John the Baptist Day, we'll have to come and have a look at it again. We'll make a day. But mine's a lot bigger. We'll carry on, Doctor. Hey? And we'll see, huh? That's it. What you need on this is uh, Rodney's black gold. That's right. Good topsoil. Maybe your, your floors looks like an unhealthy spot. 
Mine's got grass in it. Yeah. You got topsoil. Topsoil. Go territory. This is it. Go territory. That's it. Go territory. Right? Yeah. Enjoyed today. Very good. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Food. Good food. Uh, the atmosphere. You know, all the community. It's really good. It's a very um, warm community down at Bay here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's very important. It makes everyone feel welcome. Now I the am, locals down here Arthur's been, been coming here for what, 27 years? So. 27. <laughs> but the thing is, we've had the house down here for nearly 40 years. So, Grandfather Nick bought the land, came in by helicopter and... Yeah. Yeah. Back then. There was no bridge, there was no was a dirt roads, but it took maybe six, seven hours to get here. But dirt road, but the cars weren't as good then. So, yeah, exactly. helicopters away. Yeah. Came down. That's it. It had, came, had uh, bamboo sticks all over it. And he bought it for, I think, about $500 equivalent in those days. I don't know how many cows it was, but it was about $200 or $500 it was. Yeah. And they were on the beach. That's beautiful. Best block he's ever bought. Yeah. I think we should go down and get a drink, huh? Yeah. Cool down there. <laughs> Alright, menu. Bye. Bye.